Welcome to Curiosity Gameplay with Rebel Weasel. Hi. Last time we created our character and did our first small exploration of Satanine. This time we're going to finish exploring Satanine and head on out towards Balmora. I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. It's early morning now in Satanine. Go ahead. Go ahead. And we need to get ourselves a weapon. Greetings and salutations. We could use a little rain, don't you think? Welcome to Aril's Trade House. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. That's free. I'll also give you a little advice. That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear our most popular potions? Wow, <laughs> it was too fast for me. Interested in purchasing anything? Let's see we can, what we can buy as a weapon. One-handed, chitin, short sword. There's three damage. Iron broadsword does seven damage. A longsword does 6 damage. A saber does 5 damage. Let's see, a saber is 38. Let's rate them by damage. Two handed, two handed, two handed. Claymore is not affordable. Broadsword is 48. We have 92, so this would take half of our money. Um, let's go for it. Let's see if we have anything that we can sell. Nope, we don't have anything to sell. Okay. I do enjoy a good conversation. You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. Empire is the greatest achievement of Tamrielic civilization. This melting pot of contrast and cultures is held together by a strong hereditary emperor and bureaucracy, by the rule of law, by a powerful... Okay. Education and wealth is broadly distributed through all social classes where imperial culture has flourished. 
Many citizens are literate and protected under imperial law. Guard. Guards keep the peace and chase down criminals. Each district has its own guards. Legion troopers in imperial districts, ordinators in temple districts, Redoran, Hulalu, and Talvani guards in their own great house districts. Guards collect fines and compensation or drag you off to prison if you can't pay. Imperial Legion. We have garrisons at Fort Pelagiad in Pelagiad, Hawk Moth Fort in Ibenhart, Fort Moon Moth in Balmora. Were you looking to join in the Imperial Legion? I don't know if I want to join the Imperial Legion. I'll have to do some research on that and decide which, uh, which factions I would like to join. Recover some gold. That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection, but I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got one somewhere in town, just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. Um, if you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Uh, I don't know. Fargoth is my friend. Will he dislike me after I do this? I'll do it. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all of St. Anin. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Vargoth's hiding place. I've just got to find where he's hiding his loot. Okay. Head on. I actually happen to know where this is from having done this quest a million times before. There goes Lucy. This is Fargoth, isn't it? Ooh. What? What is it? Are you following me? Leave me alone. Goodness, he's no longer my friend. To what do I owe the honor, Cyrodiil? I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. Let's see if we can go straight to where his hiding place is. I believe it's this tree stump here. No. I could have sworn it was that tree stump. Go to the top of the lighthouse and see if we can watch for him.
see it's daytime. I think we'll have to wait until nighttime before we can watch Fargo. Let's try killing some mud crabs. Okay, maybe we won't kill some mud crabs. So one of the things that the people in the town have been telling us about is a smuggler's cave that's just across from where the silt striders are. We haven't been in here yet. Draren Theralis. I don't know you. What do you want? Nope, oh, he doesn't have anything new to say to us. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. And the Fargoth's house. So this is where the silt strider is. And across from the silt strider is supposed to be the cave of the smugglers. Adamasartus. That's it right there. Let's prepare our weapon and head inside.
Wow, that's dark. Let's turn off my desk light so I can see better. Slaves. What are you doing here? What can Badargo do for you? I'm just a slave, Sarah. I'm a slave, Sarah. I serve my owner and master as commanded. I clean, prepare food, fetch and carry, do the shopping and marketing, and do other tasks too tiresome or menial for my master. Go free. You have the key. Will you let me go free? Set the slave free. Yes, Badargo is free. You are a good friend of Badargo. Badargo. What are you doing here? What can I do for you? This is Oka. Go free. You have the key. Will you let me go free? Set the save free. Yes, now I am free. Thank you, Liv. What are you doing here? What can I do for you? Little advice. Don't fight when you're tired. Don't try to cast spells when you're tired. You'll fail much more often when you're tired. That's why veterans always carry a couple of restore fatigue potions for an emergency. Little advice, if you take a job that's too hard for you, don't kill yourself. Wait until you're bigger and stronger, then try again. Go free. Will you let me go free? Set the slave free. You're welcome.
Oh, there's a passage under here. What was that? Probably nothing. Your pain Probably is nothing. nearing an end. Probably nothing. Surrender your life to oh. me. I will end your pain. Oh! You will die. There is no escape. There is no escape. Oh. Surrender your life to me, and I will end your pain. No, oh. now you die. This is the end of you. There's another guy here. Here he is. Ooh, coins. I think we're probably close to being encumbered. Let's see. Oh, we've got some space. See what we've picked up. Weapon wise, damage. We haven't picked up anything that's better than what we're already using. Armor wise, armor rating. We've picked up armor boots. Iron boots, I mean. We'll put those on. Let's go ahead and wear the gauntlets and the greaves. Oh, I like that one. That's a pretty blue. Okay.
take anything we can sell. This looks like it goes somewhere. Oh, this is just where the passage is for the water. Okay. I think we've cleared out the cave. Well, let's go see if we can sell our loot. It's gotten foggy. A pleasant day to you, citizen. I see I stand in good company. We what haven't can met I do her. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Adraria Vendicia. How can I help you? Fines and compensation. The punishment for criminals in Morrowind is typically fines and compensation. The fines are collected by the state. The compensation goes to the injured party or his kin. That may sound like a sweet deal, kill an enemy then pay the fine, but folks who have enough money to pay such fines are almost always house lords, and house words, okay. So murderers pay and then they get killed too. L little advice, nobody is going to hold your hand in the legion. In the imperial cult, they just test your faith and your shoe leather. But here, your superior gives you orders, and you find that you're out of your depth. You're supposed to be smart enough to be patient, get some training experience and new equipment. Imperial Legion. Okay, we've read this one before. Morag Tong. Guided by ancient traditions and rigid codes of conduct, the Morag Tong only recruits candidates of proven skill and honor. The Morag Tong is an assassin's guild sanctioned by the Empire to provide for three varieties of execution. Public, private, uh, I didn't read the rest of it. They only accept legally approved contracts called writs. I'm an agent. I work for a house or a company or the state, and I do things that need doing. Mostly I handle matters in the business or diplomatic line, things that require mercantile skills or the arts of speechcraft. 
I trade in knowledge, hard facts and rumors. Knowledge is power, as they say, and sometimes I do other sorts of things, things I can't talk about. Oh, that's a creepy little smile there. For the right price, I can show you many new things. Ah. Keep moving. That's how I like it. Bold and direct. Come, I like you. Ooh, get rid of the skooma and then we can trade. I do enjoy a good conversation. There. We got rid of our skooma. Now let's go trade. How delightful. Welcome. Okay, now we trade. I will have to get rid of the moon sugar. Ah, Outlander. We are blessed. Truly blessed. Sugar. Okay. A pleasant afternoon to you, citizen. May the wind be on to your what back. what do I owe the pleasure, Nord? Please join me. Well... See something you like? Oh, good. Let's sell the arrows. Let's hold on to the steel short sword. It does less damage than the broad sword, but it weighs weighs very light and it's good to have an extra extra weapon with us.
Okay. I believe we've sold everything that's worth selling. And I now have 189 gold. Drakes. An honor to be sure. And that's it for the Smuggler's Cave. Next time, we'll hang out and see if we can see where Fargoth is hiding his stash. Thank you for joining me on Curiosity Gameplay with Rebel Weasel. If you could, please click that follow or subscribe button. It would be much appreciated. I'll see you next time.